House of Fabrics was a chain of home sewing and craft retailers that opened in 1946 and closed in 1998. The son of a junk dealer who liked to refer to himself as a just a ragman, David Sofro and his brother Charles started his first fabric store in New England, struggling through the depression and fabric shortages during World War II. Certain that California offered more opportunities for growth, Sofro sold the original Eastern store and moved to Los Angeles in 1946. He and his brother opened their first store on Wilshire Boulevard. The Sofo brothers founded House of Fabrics as a retail and fabrics business. The specialty retailer sold mid-price fabrics including cottons, rayons, woolens, and silks, crafts such as needlepoint kits, patterns, fringes, and fabric decorating kits, notions, particularly yarns, threads, zippers, and buttons, as well as sewing machines. The shop enjoyed modest success, but Sofo really began his retail magic in 1965 when he took the company public. Sofro rapidly increased the number of stores, which became known for constant sales and promotions and markdowns. He bought finished goods directly from mills and sold them in retail outlets throughout the United States. He labeled his stores east of the Rocky Mountains, Sofro, for his surname. Stores west of the Rocky Mountains operated as House of Fabrics, Fabricland, or Fabric King. The retailer operated a processing and warehousing facility in South Carolina. Fabric retailing proved to be a cyclical business for the brothers, with June and July as the worst months for all retailers. During the first quarter, sewers made spring and Easter clothes. In the third quarter, sewers purchased material for back-to-school clothes and Halloween costumes. Fourth quarter purchases were for Christmas creations. In 1976, good year, changes occurred in their industry. Societal changes affected fabric retailers profoundly. Traditionally, most customers of fabric retailers were women, and as more women entered the workforce during the 1970s, they had less time for sewing. Retail clothing stores also began stocking less expensive imported ready-to-wear items in specialty sizes. Women's plus and petite sizes became more commonplace, thus economics and availability less than the need for women sewing clothes. In the 1980s, Sofro began buying out competitors, starting with the Massachusetts-based 24-store Beacon Wave Corporation chain in 1983. House of Fabrics nevertheless embarked on a total makeover through a seven-year plan in 1984. At the plan's beginning, most House of Fabric outlets were 4,400 square foot stores and malls. The makeover plan called for the development of 12,000 square foot freestanding superstores. It continued to buy up competitors. The Cleveland based 35 store craft showcase chain in 1984, and in 1985, the popular 23 store Southern California competitor, Home Silk Shop. By 1988, 42% of all House of Fabric outlets were superstores, contributing 51% of the retailer's sales and 58% of the operating profits. The company was the largest home sewing and craft retailer in the United States, with more than 660 stores in 43 states. By December of 1991, however, House of Fabrics began a serious decline. Sales for the year increased about 25%, but an acquisition adversely affected House of Fabrics stock. In 1991, House of Fabrics purchased Fabric Land, an 86-store chain based in Portland, Oregon, in a hostile takeover. The company's earnings after the acquisition was below expected levels and House of Fabrics stock fell dramatically. In 1993, House of Fabrics was forced to close 110 underperforming mall stores in order to maintain its larger freestanding and strip center stores. In October, the company incurred $35 million in restructuring charges. 
By early 1994, House of Fabric struggled just to pay its bills, and fiscal 1994 recorded a loss of $29.3 million for the retailer. The fabric industry was oversaturated with stores at this time. The economy was sluggish in 1994, and nobody was sewing clothes anymore. House of Fabrics responded by closing 200 more stores, including 120 superstores. By that time, House of Fabrics also expanded its home decorating and craft merchandise lines as well. In November of 1994, House of Fabrics filed for reorganization under the Chapter 11 bankruptcy. As part of the reorganization, they downsized the company, closing 270 unprofitable stores in the Midwest and Eastern U.S. from August 1994 through April of 1995. They remodeled eight superstores with expanded floral, home decoration, and craft departments, and retailer introduced new merchandise, especially home and craft items. With 360 stores still in operation throughout the United States, House of Fabrics successfully secured credit from its vendors and financing from banks. These funds, plus cash from store liquidations, allowed the company to purchase inventory for remaining outlets, especially less expensive foreign products. In April of 1996, House of Fabrics closed another 86 underperforming stores. By 1997, there were less than 260 company-owned stores in operation, employing 5,000 people in 27 states, down from over 660 stores in 43 states. In February of 1998, House of Fabrics, Inc. was acquired by the nation's largest fabric and craft retailer, Fabric Centers, which operated 900 stores in 48 states under the names Joanne Fabrics and Cloth World for about $100 million in cash and debt. At the time of the acquisition, House of Fabrics operated 260 company-owned House of Fabrics, Sofo Fabrics, Fabric Land, and Fabric King stores in 27 states, with 90 stores in California alone. In September of 1998, the company changed its name to Joanne Stores, Inc., and all of its stores were renamed Joanne Fabrics. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.